Hi friends, welcome to our Linux Flavors YouTube channel. In this video we are going to see how to configure YUM local repository server using FTP in Red Hat Linux 7. Here we mentioned required packages to create YUM repo server. PSFTP used to transfer files in local network, create repo package is responsible for creating database, about package list and creating repository. YUM UTILS and YUM packages are take care about package installation and repo query related activities. Let's jump into our demo, in this Red Hat 7 server, I'm having two hard disk with 8GB size, one for system disk, another one for repository package storage. I'm going to attach our HEL7 ISO image into CD-ROM. Uncheck boot from CD and boot order and start your virtual machine. Here you can see, my secondary hard disk having 7GB partition and not mounted. I don't have enough space in my system OS disk, so I use this secondary disk for repo storage. You can see ISO CD image was automatically mounted and currently logged in users. Move into that CD, find a directory called packages and install above listed RPM packages. Install above listed RPM packages using rpm-ivh command. BSFTPD create a default directory under etcftp pub. I'm going to mount my secondary partition disk into this directory. Using df-h we can list it's mounted properly. Now the time to copy all packages from CD drive into this FTP pub directory for creating repo. Once copied start VSFTPD service like in video, and make enable service start automatically at boot time. Now my FTP server is running, we can test it from any FTP client, we go with the default login username and password called anonymous. 
It's login successfully, and we can verify the files and directories list inside. Now I'm going to create repo using this ftp.create a file under etc yum repos.d called base.repo, it can be any name but it should end with .repo extension. And edit this file like in video. Name can be anything as per your wish. But base URL should be point our FTP server pub directory like in video, because we have packages inside this pub directory only. Once you edit the file save it and run yum repolisk command to verify our repository. Here you can see our repo name listed in base repo ID but packages are not listed. For this we need to run create repo command arguments with our FTP pub directory like in video. It's listed 4305 packages inside our pub directory, it will take some time to create repository database, we can verify the process is running using top command. Once it's completed we can see SQLite database, metadata and repo md.xml files created in pub directory. Now we can see all 4305 packages are listed using yum repolisk command. Now it's time to install a package from this repository, use yum install with any package name, for a shake of this video I'm going to install zsh package. Our repo server is working fine. Thanks for watching this video, hit the subscribe button and encourage us.